Hi, Marianne. How are you? So here is the summer shell, and you can start to play around with it. I sent you the 16 session outline with the breakdown. Okay, so remember, you're going to have advanced students, so you will have advanced concepts. So it is right on the border of ABE and advanced. They're scoring high level CASAs between um, 235 and 253. They're very advanced. And then you might have some students who are in ESL 4, 5, or 6. So you're going to create a slide deck, a weekly schedule. Thursday summary assignment, and then you'll have three lessons. So lesson one, number one, I gave you the map, and that map will be something. I just gave this as an example. So you can really start to talk about how the class will be structured, what we will talk about, why, what is the importance of speaking practice, okay? And then, of course, these are some really basic things that they should know about what we should be studying. And this is what we are going to focus on in this class. This is what we're going to focus on in this class and get them using it. So I would say you all should know this. You can review this in your own time, but you should really be focused on that. So then um, we'll talk about graphic organizers and the power of graphic organizers and how they help us um, organize our thoughts. This is a graphic organizer, which I like to use as a ticket out the door, which encourages them and trains them in um, lesson reflection. And then talk about networking and how they can use the group of their peers to increase their learning potential. Okay, so this is the class that we would like them to focus on in the future. And so your class will be feeding into it. And that's why I wanted you to meet with uh, Cassidy, because these some of these um, skills that you'll be teaching them this year will flow directly into um, welding. So these are the pink cards. That's why they're pink. So I also used to hand out pink cards, but due to COVID, we haven't been doing that. They were actually on pink paper. That's why. So. What I would do as a warm up exercise to have the students get to know each other is I would have a bunch of slides like this and I would give one of them to the students in the class, like on the first day as an icebreaker warm up. And then they would have to freestyle tell you how to do that thing and explain it in depth. So and if you want them to say more, you're going to have to teach them this is a speaking class. That's why we did the first um, in the first lesson. I like to talk about what is ESL? What's our point? What are we trying to do as a teacher? Do you know your level? Do you know your CASA score? Do you know where you stand? Do you understand your CASA score? And what's your weak point when it comes to speaking? For some people, it's pronunciation. You can you can delve into this, right? For other people, it's fluency. For others, it's vocabulary development. So in this course, what we're trying to get them to do, and we're calling it workplace skills because you need all of those, fluency, pronunciation, and you need vocabulary development to go into the workplace. So that's kind of where we're at. When I show you the modules, I really want the framework of the modules to stay like this. So this is where you're going to replace my slideshow with what you come up with. You should feel free to make a copy of this and come up with your own idea. For some reason, my internet's really slow right now, but it looks like this. Please feel free to adjust this. Please, this isn't for you. This is for ABE, but it's just a sense of a sample project, schedule, using a calendar, time management skills. Okay, you're not gonna use Edmentum with them, but you will use um, Burlington if you want them to develop vocabulary. If they're interested in that, we can do that. But really what I'd like for you to do is focus on the lessons that I gave you. So module number one is really great because it gets them talking about idioms. 
and good idioms for the workplace. And it's a great place to start. Um, take a look at those structures. You will notice that they are blank. Yeah, so if you click into it, they're blank, right? Because um, you're gonna look at the curriculum that I just emailed you. And even though it says lesson two, technically that's session two. But I didn't want you to get confused by using the word session because there's morning session and then late morning session, right? 9 to 11 and 1130 to 1.30. Anyway. So I'm sending you this little video so you can have a sense of what you can start to develop and play with. Around the first week in June, so we don't lose all this curriculum, I need you to go to settings. And then you're going to go to share to commons. This is a cloud um, save. So you're going to go only me, which will be you. And this will be the template of your class, right? And then you can say summer template. You have to send a picture. You have to choose a picture so you can choose any kind of summer sunny picture. Do whatever you'd like to do just to save it and then go share. So this is kind of really important, this piece. So you can go ahead and work on this. Feel free to work on this shell. But then whatever you're working on, make sure that you save it. Because I won't be here. And if you have questions, go to Norma. Norma can always reach me as well. Okay? All right. Thanks.